So I wanted to get your take on what does a green, a good green reading routine look like? Okay. Well, Jack Nicholas said he started reading the green from 50 yards out. So you start with the biggest perspective that you can. Um, <clears throat> I tell people if it's a course you haven't played before, uh, go in the pro shop and ask, is there something about the geography of this golf course that makes most of the greens run in a particular direction? He said, well, yeah, you know, we're, we're only 10 miles away from the ocean, so everything flows to the west. Or if you're in Florida, everything flows to the east. Or if you're on the west coast of Florida, everything flows towards the Gulf. Whatever it is, uh, and, and there may be a low spot in a valley uh, related to the golf course. Everything goes towards uh, Riviera, for example, is 10 miles from the ocean, but everything uh, flows down in that direction. So the clubhouse is on a hill, and the sixth hole is the lowest place on the golf course. Everything flows on the line between the clubhouse and the sixth hole. So you get the, the hugest big perspective. That's where everything wants to go. Then you bring it in and say, is there anything near the green? A creek, a hillside. Look at what the lay of the land is around the green. Then look closer around the green. For example, uh, is your ball near a bunker? Well, golf course designers set it up so that water doesn't flow through their bunker. Otherwise, they get all these ravines and it washes the sand out. So all the bunkers along around the edge of the green are raised a little bit. Not only that, what happens when people hit a ball out of the bunker? They don't just hit the ball, they throw sand out of the bunker. So it's like the green is being top dressed several times a day, or every single day. Right. So it builds, it builds up along the edge of the green. So putts will tend to break away from bunkers uh, if they're near the edge of the green. Um, then you look at the overall slope of the green and find f the fall line through your ball. In other words, if, if I was going to roll a ball towards my ball, what, where would it start that would roll on a straight line? And then you start reading from there based on that. So start kind of macro and then work your way in. I like that, how you kind of incorporate the green design as well. Now, then you get to the hole. Okay. It's more important what the ball is going to do near the hole than when it starts. Because when it starts, it's going its fastest. And hopefully, when it gets near the hole, it's going its slowest. <laughs> hopefully. Otherwise, otherwise, you're going to have a real long putt coming back. Okay. So, so what I like to do is stand behind the hole, looking straight at, straight at, straddling the line straight at the ball, and feeling if I'm tilted one way or the other. And then I will slide over in the, in the low, on the low side until I feel like I'm not tilted at all. And that's the line that the ball wants to take to fall straight into the hole. Now I've identified the effective center of the hole, which is one not straight at the, not the middle of the hole, but one side. And so I see the putt coming in from that side and I say, okay, to come in that spot, it's got to come from here, and I trek back a line back to the ball mm. and, see, and see what that starting line is. And it's almost always a lot more than people read, reading from the ball towards the hole. Isn't that so funny? So that's how I read from the hole backwards. It's just funny how, I mean, obviously you've coached some of the you know best players in the world and the whole pro versus amateur side is shocking. Like how much amateurs would be better if they just added a little bit more break. Because if you're just constantly under reading, it has almost no chance to go in. But if you're giving it a little bit more and you do miss on the pro side and you have the right speed, you're going to open up that hole a lot more. Yeah, you know, balls, balls don't tend to fall up into the hole. They tend to fall down. <laughs> Bobby Jones, 100 some years ago, said, um, you know, and if you roll the same putt and one misses on the high side and one misses on the low side, the high side putt will roll much less distance than the low side putt. So do you want to have a one-footer coming back or a four-footer coming back? Hmm, 
I'll, I'll take the one footer. Okay, now one of the drills that I teach people to do is find a breaking putt, um, one that between the ball and the hole is pretty level. It's going to go up the side of a hill and then come down again. That's what a break, that's the break, right? Uh, but um, lay your phone uh, across the middle of the hole with the edge of the phone that's on the middle of the hole pointing straight at the ball. So you've cut, you've, you've covered the low half of the hole. And as soon as you go behind the ball and look, you're going to see more break because you need more break to go in that high side of the hole. So use that as a drill to go, go in the high side and track as you play the round how many of your putts miss on the high side, how many miss on the low side. I had a playing lesson with, uh, with a guy um, and uh, on the first green, he hit his putt. I said, low side in a slightly irritating way. And on the second hole, he hit his putt, and I said, low side, in a similarly, maybe even a little more irritating way. The third hole, low side, and he said, okay, I get it. <laughs> but do you? Do <laughs> you know how many, pull, hole, how many putts he started holing after that? Because he said, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> And you can, so you can say it to yourself. Now you don't have to hear me saying it. You say it to yourself, low side. You go, I don't want to say that. I don't want to hear myself saying that. And you will start to subconsciously even play a little more break. Uh, he, he hold at least four putts coming in. And that usually he would miss on the low side. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. that, that's, it, that's important. When you're re when you're reading the greens, um, <clears throat> the other thing is to understand the shape. I was watching the uh, I was watching the the President's Cup, and they had a little graphic, and they would have the ball rolling straight, and then turning and going towards the hole. Now they did a pretty good job when it was a severe break near the end of the the putt. They would they would start it a little later, but you need to, I call it rivers and fountains. You need to understand uphill putts are like a fountain. When the energy is shooting the water straight up, it goes straight for a long time. But when it slows down, it curves really fast to go back down to earth. That's what uphill putts do. How many times have we hit a putt and, and just as it's about to get to the hole, it curves off right in front of it? Really frustrating. That's that shape. You have to play it. You either have to play it and be willing to take a two footer coming back to take some of the breakout, or you have to aim to the side and see that it's going to make almost a right angle turn, either to the left or the right, for once it starts to slow down. Because the ball wants to do some, the same thing as the water. It wants to turn around and go back downhill. Now, a downhill putt is different. A downhill putt is more like a river, which, uh, which curves until it finds a straight path down to the ocean. So the ball is going to curve almost immediately from the start, and you're not going to hit it as hard because it's downhill. So gravity is going to affect it more earlier, and, uh, and it's going to curve until it finds that fall line that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Once it finds the fall line, just keep, it just stops curving and goes straight to the hole. You'll see even the pros, they play the break and the ball doesn't keep breaking. And they move their hand and say, you know, like in a curve and say, why didn't it keep breaking? What? Because it found the fall line. And wherever that fall line is, goes straight. So you need to see that as a curving putt that turns into a straight putt. Uphill putts are straight putts that turn into a curving putt. 